Hey, welcome back in, in today's video. <clears throat> oh, gotta get the goggles because uh, I am the internet's adventurer. Um, today's video, we're gonna be talking about Billie Eilish because I have a confession to make. That's right, I'm a Billie Eilish fan. I wanted to simulate a good conversation and she's just been nominated for some Grammys at like the youngest age ever something like that we're gonna look into it but uh, I know that I have a lot of Billie Eilish fans out there and it might be good to just you know shoot shoot the uh, shoot the shoot shoot the shoot so if you're unfamiliar with Billie Eilish she is uh, Billie Eilish pirate beard O'Connell Baird O'Connell, that's, that's the name right there, is an American singer-songwriter born and raised in Highland Park, Los Angeles. She began singing at a young age. Uh, currently 17 years old, and uh, she's making headlines today. As you can see, trending in Georgia, Billy with 117,000 tweets. Lizzo, Billie Eilish, and Lil Nas X scored the most nominations for the 62nd Grammy Awards with all three notching nods for Record of the Year, Album of the Year, and Best New Artist. Uh, now, this is pretty crazy for uh, Billie Eilish to be in this category because uh, never before has uh, an artist this young at the age of 17 years old uh, embraced all of these categories. Uh, one of the things I like to talk about is her particular style. It reminds me a lot of, uh, well, you know, she just doesn't really, it, it, it looks like she doesn't care that much. And it reminds me of, and I know a lot of people are going to be like, no, I don't see it. But it reminds me of Kurt Cobain and where he just generally had this uh, aesthetic about him where he just really didn't care that much. And it reminds me of a book I read called, uh, I think it's called Law of Attraction. No, Law of Success. It was written by Napoleon Hill. Really good read. It's a very old book, but um, um, he writes another book called Think and Grow Rich, where he talks about how there's these controlled accidents where um, in music, uh, y you you can't try too hard on these types of things. In any endeavor that you go into, you can't try uh, very hard and, and be super successful. What I mean by that is... Um, it has to come out naturally and the book talks about how um y you you practice so much you do the day in day out and then s stuff just starts to manifest itself in a very natural uh phenomena if you will and uh I've, this her style that she's manifested now really is like the the epitome of that is it, it as it, in a way it's it's very natural for her to be who she really is and i think that's really all you could ask for in uh a creator in general somebody that just manifests who they are they're not trying to be anyone else they're just being they're just they just are Let's talk more about this Grammy nomination. Uh, Billie Eilish has set a new record in the Grammy Awards history. On Wednesday, the 17-year-old became known as the youngest person ever to, to be nominated in all four top general field categories in the same year with the 2020 Grammy Awards, Record of the Year, Song of the Year, Album of the Year, and Best New Artist. And what would even be crazier if she won all four of these? That would be something to go down in the books of history. Alice released her now Grammy nominated debut studio album, When We Fall Asleep, Where Do We Go, in March. The album landed its first number one spot on the Billboard 200 chart in April. The pop star's hit song, Bad Guy, uh, from When We Fall Asleep album received nominations for record and song of the year eilish also received nominations in the best pop solo performance and best pop vocal album categories and um this it's a pretty big achievement i don't think i'd remember any uh artist being this young achieving uh this type of uh what's the word uh i guess mass appeal and uh, her songs are pretty good, not gonna lie. Her brother, Phineas O'Connell, is an American singer, songwriter, record producer, musician, and actor. He released several singles and has uh, written music for other artists, including his sister, singer Billie Eilish. Uh, as an actor, O'Connell starred in the 2013 independent film, Life Inside Out. So he's very engaged in helping his sister with uh, music, helping her write songs and do different things like that. And I think that's really cool to have this uh, brother-sister uh, duo doing this type of collaboration. And I think it probably helped her 
uh, growing up in an, an environment, having that much support, uh, develop into the artist that she is. Um, I think it's really good. Also, I feel like it's time for me to just make my hair white again. Let me know in the comment section what you think. She's, uh, she's very uh, in touch with her fan base as well. And uh, this can be a good thing. Sometimes it can be not that good of a thing because people will steal your ring. It looks like she got her ring stolen in uh, late late October. What's interesting is they actually uh, found who stole the ring, and uh, you like here's a video here. You can hear the lady saying, "I took her ring." <laughs> so I guess she knocked the ring off of her off of Billy's hand as she walked by. And then uh, she asks, she says it's her ring and asks the dude to pick it up here. My ring fell off when I held her hand. Right there. Can you see that? Like uh, the, the woman said that she turned the ring in. I don't know if she ever, if she ever got a ring back. Oh yeah, she did get a ring back. Finally, story with a happy ending. Billie Eilish's stolen ring has been returned uh, to her. This is really good. Let's give this is really good um all right i feel like this video is just going on a tangent now uh point is is that uh billy eilish is uh a very good singer and has uh, some crazy good accomplishments for the age that she is and uh it's going to be interesting watching her career as it develops already being uh 17 years old i'm heard i've heard that she, the way she makes her albums and songs like when she was 16 she worked the whole uh, year uh, that she was 16 for the album to be released when she was 17. So she's always a year ahead, and that's crazy good. And that goes back to organization, and that's something I can offer to my community here, those words of advice. Organization and structure and planning goes a long way, and you want to do that. Uh, it's like a 90% 90, 90 rule where you get this stuff done. You can get everything going A to B. That way things just snap in place for you. That's right. Uh, well, as interesting as this video is, there's always something that's more interesting to me. That's right, you guessed it. I want to know what you think. So why don't you go ahead and leave your creative render interesting responses in the comment box below. Thumbs up for those likes. As always, brothers and sisters, I will see you in the next video. Um, this Oh, my camera's about to run out of time. Um, this video is probably a little bit different than videos that I normally do. I wanted to do something different, something fun. Uh, don't forget to get your... Uh, your rep squad merch i'm gonna put the link in the description below and uh but uh i know that you're ripping if you're not ripping your guy again how you do that all you gotta do is subscribe and notification trump be in the comment section every single video because i'm gonna be there greg the cat's gonna be there and the rest of the rep squad community as well and i expect to see you there too because this channel loves you <laughs> oh yeah patrons <laughs>